we're going to let essentially a junior programmer loose on it and repeat that you know an infinite number of times in parallel. But the less they have to know and the more you give them those guardrails to code around, here's, here's what the function should look like. Here's your API surface for authentication. Here's your logging, right? Don't reinvent any of this. We're going to define this up front. Here are your data models. I've had excellent response where I go in and do the database work and then give, give the SQL DDL, the database description, uh, to the AI and say, okay, I need a bunch of CRUD APIs, right? This is something that would take me weeks normally to wire up. You know, I'm going to build... You know, I've got 100 data objects. I've got four to six API endpoints for every single data object. They interrelate. I've already written the SQL for this. Just wire it up for me. And it can do that very, very well. It can do that very effectively and create a lot of efficiencies there. The context issue may not get solved just by making the context window bigger or more capable necessarily. You can better leverage this army of agents by a- attacking the architecture in a different way that would have never made sense for a small or, or medium sized team before. But now, like you, you can have an army of people and the, the math isn't the same as if you had to do that, you know, with with a person in every seat. Right. 